And first, our News 11 to 7 fans all across the country, they waking up early this morning for the World Cup. A number of watch parties took place all across St. Louis this morning as the U.S. men's national team took on the Netherlands. Fox's Laura Simon has a closer look at the whirlwind of emotions for the win or go home matchup. Fans started the day off optimistic for the U.S. men's soccer team to take on the Netherlands. People started lining up outside Amsterdam Tavern on Morgan Ford before the sun came up. 6.30 in the morning, baby. 6.30 in the morning. To come into work today and see people already camping out before I even got to work was pretty cool to see. I've never seen that before here. People are on the edges of their seat watching the game inside Amsterdam Tavern in the Tower Grove South neighborhood, but this isn't the only place hosting a watch party. A smaller family-friendly group watched the game at Falcon Social Club on Southwest Avenue in the Hill neighborhood. I wanted to see the U.S. game. My dad just brought me out here. And here at Milo's Bochi Garden. There's nothing like watching soccer on the hill. What started with high hopes ended in a 3-1 to one loss. Fans were hoping the men's national team could advance past a round of 16 for the first time since 2002. But during halftime, reality started sinking in. I would hope a win for the United States, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, the Netherlands are a hard competition. Despite the disappointing U.S. elimination from the World Cup, the watch parties aren't over yet. We're going to be closing the street for the final no matter what, who's in it. So we're going to have one more big game no matter what. We got England tomorrow. They always bring in a crowd as well, so it should be pretty fun. We're still a huge soccer community, so we will continue to watch all the games, come down to watch the games. It won't be the same, though, watching uh, with the USA not in it, that's for sure. Reporting in South St. Louis, Laura Simon, News 11.